This is day one of the two-day workshop on mining host communities' right. The event, organized by Global Right, had attendees from across the country and is aimed at facilitating an increase in the knowledge of the right of mining host communities in Nigeria and to provide a platform for networking and joint problem-solving for members. Speaking, the convener, Abiodun Bayewu, decried revenue loss of $3 billion between the years 2012 and 2018 to illegal gold mining. She further added that 80% of mining in Nigeria is artisanal as host communities continue to bear the environmental and economic brunt of the unregulated activities. So communities have become very insecure. And really, when you think about the states that are most insecure, you're talking Zamfara, Katsina, Niger, Kaduna, Taraba, the five most insecure states in Nigeria. We did the statistics. We published it. But yeah. Representatives of the different host communities shared their experiences on the increased environmental degradation resulting from artisanal mining. These illegal miners that are coming in now, mostly they are from China, they are the Chinese. Yeah. And we find out that the planes that are being landed in Zamfara by the Chinese people bring arms. Yes, they bring arms to the state. And that was why the elite youth started writing. And unfortunately, like my brother pointed out, our traditional rulers are part of the problem. When you go and settle them, they forgot about what is happening to their citizens. Who I want to speak to now is the Mr. President. Because I have speak with the minister, I have speak with the vice president, and nothing come up. I think it is to see Mr. President and present this case. If he didn't say anything about it, that means that this country has no meaning. Is a country where the, the, they marginalize the citizen, while the expatriates are being protected very much. The workshop comes as the fifth part of the series of training on understanding and promoting mining host community rights, which began last year. Chiamaka Enendu, NCBN News, Abuja.